Welcome to the Ole Miss Softball Complex, where the Rebels have a 54-game home winning streak against non-SEC foes. It'll be on the line tonight for Jamie Traxel and her Rebels. Won't be easy, though, as La Tech brings a lot of momentum. Savannah Dietrich in the circle, making her 11th start of the season. She has a 4-2 record, a 2.18 earned run average. This is always the most fun time of of the season, you know, right before things start to get really serious and you're able to get those last few games in, feel good games, if you will. Kamoku will make the play and that will take care of La Tech. Lauren Menzina gets the start tonight for La Tech. She's from right there in Ruston, home of the Lady Texters. In order to have a lot of success for a, for a mindset like that, you've got to have a lot of drop balls. Roper bounces one to Gonzalez, and she's got a couple of assists. Well, beg your pardon. It'll be an infield hit for Roper. And Zena gets the force at second, the relay in time. How about that double play? Gutierrez, oh, what a play by Isim at second, and she robs Gutierrez of a base hit favorite nicknames. There's a drive to deep center field, and this one is gone. Lexi Brady, how about that? Get the start and play a little long ball. Long ball that is. She was able to really drive her hands down and utilize that pitch that has been coming to the Rebels all game long. Abby Latham has an opportunity to add to that RBI total, which right now stands at 31. And there she goes. And three more ribbies for Abby Latham. A towering blast to left center field. And the Rebels now lead it for nothing. Glory trot for Latham for sure. She's one of those batters where if you leave something hanging, she is going to make you pay. And she ropes one to left and in and out of the glove of Cooper. Riley's digging for two. The throw is not quite in time, and Riley with a double. That these pitchers are going to give them the strikes that they're looking for, and so if they go in the batter's box and attack, they'll have results like they are having just there with Paige Smith. Paige Smith with an RBI base hit. And she slams one to right center field. That's a one hopper off the wall. Gutierrez scores. And it's an RBI double for Michaela Alley. Exactly. That was a, I need to correct it. Thank you for confirming that. And there's Brady with another smash to left. They're going to try to score the runner, which they will. Good job, Lexi! And Lexi Brady having herself quite an inning. He's been able to get it done. And there's a rip down the right field line by Roper. That's going to score Brady. Whitley's going to score as well. And Roper's got herself a triple. There's a smash to the right side. Kamoku makes the play and then flips it over to Gutierrez to double up Diaz. And a swing and a miss, and Vestal, a clean one, two, three inning, and the Rebels extend that winning streak. They've won 55 straight against non-SEC foes here at home. For Amanda Nikesi, I'm Will Colmeyer saying so long from Oxford. The final score once again, 10-zip Rebels. This has been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports.